Today's question relates to how to establish yourself as an expert. I promised you that I would tell you a really easy way to create a white paper or an ebook. And uh, I know that it's so funny to me how I've written a ton of ebooks and I've been a contributing author on two different books and, uh, and now I'm writing my own book. And people get really impressed by that. It's really, it's really not that impressive. Anybody can do it. You can do it, and I'm going to tell you exactly how. The easiest way to write an ebook is to write down your top 10 frequently asked questions that you get. Just like I'm doing in the series of 20 videos, I took 20 questions that people ask me all the time and I answered them. And that's all you need to do for your ebook. It's very simple. Make sure that you're providing value and that it's going to be helpful for your target market. But basically, you just write down 20 questions or 10 questions. Start with 10. You don't have to go overboard. Start with 10 questions, write them all down then write down the answers and you put it all in an ebook. Now, you might be saying, but how? I'm gonna tell you the how. You can write it all in Microsoft Word and then you can uh, convert it into a PDF. And I use something that you can Google. You can find it online, it's free, and it's called PDF 995. So it's literally PDF number nine, number nine, number five dot com. And I think I actually paid for the pro version, but I, I believe the, the, the free version is perfectly fine too. And what I like about PDF 995 is that you it's almost just like a, a printer. When you go, you finish with your Microsoft Word document, you save it, and you go file, print, um, it comes up as one of the options. Instead of choosing your printer, you print PDF 995, and then it says save as, and you, you write it however you want, whatever you want to call it in your regular documents where you would normally save something and it saves it as a PDF. And what's nice about it is that you want to have links to your website in your document and those those hyperlinks will be um, hyper, well clickable if you will. They'll be real hyperlinks that you can click on which is great and uh, you want to be able to have someone read your ebook and then move them back over to your website again so they'll buy from you. So I hope you can use this tip. Uh, it's very simple to do. If you need any more help, you can find more help on my website, but that's your tip for today.